Hi guys, in this episode of Shree series, we're going to be talking on a topic of electricity, more specifically power and resistance, all right? We're going to be looking at their respective formulas and how both these formulas can be interconnected with one another. All right. Now, if you looked at my previous videos, I talked about Ohm's law and that involved resistance, voltage and current. All right. So let's um, look at this formula. So we know resistance is voltage over current. OK, where R is for resistance, V is for voltage and I is current. Yep. Now, we also have an other formula involving power, and that's power equals voltage times current. So it's very important to distinguish between the two. When you get your voltage and multiply it by your current, you get your power, and power is measured in watts. When you get your voltage and divide it by current, you get your resistance. All right. So with that in mind, how do we try to find the connection where we could evolve power and resistance together? Yeah. Now, if you look at this formula more specifically, we know very well if we make V the subject to the formula, V becomes I times R. And if I make I the subject of the formula, that becomes V over R. All right. So it's important to know um, how to make one the subject of the formula. So in this case, we made R the subject of the formula. And in here, we made V the subject of the formula. And in the third one, we made I the subject of the formula. All right. So using that in mind, you can actually see when I include, say, V is equal to IR in the power formula, what that could be is you could say P is equal to V times I. And we know very well V is equal to I R. So what I can do is I can say P is equal to I R. What that means is in place of V, I'm going to put I. So this is simply algebraic substitution. And therefore, P becomes I squared R. All right. So you might get a question. And why this is important is you could get a question where, say, you've been given your resistance and you've been given your current and you're told to find your power. All right. So there is a connection between power resistance. But in this case, we've put I here. Now, suppose let's say we put this equation. All right. So the I equation up there, what will that become? So let's rewrite that. So we know P is equal to V times I. So in other words, in place of I, we're going to put V over R. So that's going to be P is equal to V. And then you're going to put V over R. And that now becomes P is equal to V squared over R. So you can see how we can use the connection between power and resistance. Sometimes when I put current, that will be this question here or this formula or sometimes you can see the connection between power between power and resistance but in this case we're going to put v in there all right this is very important because when you use these tactics on changing the subject of the formula to find the relationship between power and resistance when you get some questions involving power and resistance this becomes easy for you all right so i just wanted to show you how we can use power and resistance in this video using two basic formulas. The first one is P is equal to V times I and R is equal to V over I using changing the subject of a formula. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye now.